Begin your app's journey to the marketplace right now. In this video, I will walk you through the process to publish your app. However, my main focus will be publishing Flutter apps, but you also learn to publish any app on Google Play Store. Whether you are an experienced developer or you just finished your first app, this step-by-step -step guide is exactly what you need. Before anything else, if you're new here, please subscribe my channel in which I discuss about Flutter. Now, without wasting time, let's get started. This tutorial is divided into three parts. First, I will change app name, bundle ID, and logo. In the second part, I will sign the app and download our AAB file. And finally, I will publish the app to Google Play Store. So feel free to jump on any step you need based on timestamp. We will use this documentation as reference which I will put the link in the description below and I will go through with you step by step to publish our app in Google Play Store. So the first thing we want to do is to change our app icon and we can use this package for this means. Then just head over to your puppyspeak.yaml file and add the package under div dependencies. Insert your logo inside icons folder and following that add these lines of code under your package. Here we specify the image path to icon we just added and make it available for Android and iOS. Now go to your terminal and first hit pubget. Then run this command with generous icon for your Android and iOS. Next we also want to change app name. And for doing it head over to your Android manifest file. Find Android level under application tag. And here change your app name to whatever you want. As the last step here I need to change my app bundle name. So open your app level build.gradle. Inside default config change application ID to your particular domain. Now that I run the project, you can see that our app logo and also app name has been changed. This brings us to the completion of the first step. So let's move on to the second one. Now we need to sign our application and for doing it, copy these lines right here. Open your Android folder and create a file called key.properties and paste everything here. Create a random password and then copy and paste it for the second field as well. Now we have to create our upload key store. You need to use one of these two commands based on your operating system. For me, I copy the command for the windows inside cmd, paste it right there. Now it asks for a password, which we use the password we just created moments ago. Then just re-enter it one more time. Here insert your full name and hit enter for the rest prompts. At the end, type yes. Enter again. And now your upload key store file is downloaded. Find the file in the given location and then upload it inside your app folder. Now inside the story file you need to add the location of the key user file, which in this case it is inside app folder. Scroll down documentation till configuring signing in Gradle. Here we need to add these lines of code inside our app level build.gradle. So just copy it and inside build.gradle find Android. Above Android block, paste all the lines. Remove unnecessary Android part and indent it to the beginning of the page. Again scroll down to the signing configs and copy all of them. Find build types block, make sure to select it completely and paste the new lines. Basically, we do this to make our app ready for release. Open terminal and write flutter build up and build release and hit enter. It won't take long and your release app will be ready. Find the app you just built and leave this page open in the background. Because we will upload this AAB file in the Play Store in some moments. Open Google Play Console from this page. Go to Play Console and sign in with your Google account. If you don't have any developer account, just hit the second button to create a new one. Choose the type of account you want to create, which in my case, I choose myself. Then hit continue. Here, write your developer name, which I can just use my name, and hit next. Then it needs a payment profile for verification, which you can create a new profile for it. However, as I have a developer account already, I won't go further. But you can complete all the steps here and create your first developer account. I choose my current account. And this is homepage of your Google Play console. Click on create app. Specify your app name, which for me it is a counter app. Choose your default language. Then we choose it is an app and not a game. Also choose whether your app is free or paid, which in my case it is free. Finally, accept developer program policies and US export laws and create the app. Now scroll down to store presence tab and click on the main store listing. Here you need to provide some basic information about your app, so make sure to write a short description and also a full description. Then I need to upload my app icon which I have already created. I just drag and drop it right here. Keep in mind app icons need to be 520 to 520 pixel. Next I should also upload my feature graphic and it just basically describes my app. Remember your feature graphic should be 1024 to 500 pixel. Here you can upload up to 80 screenshots which show all features and everything about your app. 
I will upload these two screenshots for my app. Remember, you should upload at least two. You can also upload some more images for specific devices and also a video to describe your app visually. But for now, I'm okay with this and hit save. Then go to store settings. Hit edit and choose a category for your app. I choose business and hit save. Next, add some tags for your application which allow users to find your app easily. Then in the next part, I need to provide some information about myself. So fill out your email, phone number and also you can provide your website link if you have one. Now let's head over to release part. As you can see, we have four options here. I can release in open, close or internal testing which all of them allow you to test your app before publishing. But I'm going to release my app in production which make it available in public inside Play Store. Click on create new release. Tap on choose signing key and I will use Google generated key. Once it's generated, I can start uploading. So find your app and drag and drop it right here. It will take a while for app to be uploaded. And once it's done, these fields are filled out automatically. Here you can write a particular release node which then will display to users. When everything is done, hit next. Now we have all these errors which should be solved one by one. So let's go to app content at the bottom. Here we need to answer a bunch of questions to make our app complete for release. And the first thing you want to consider is privacy policy. So let's hit start declaration. You need to provide a complete policy for your app. And don't worry as there are a lot of websites that does this job for free. This is one of the privacy policy generator sites which I will put the link in the description below. You just need to give a few information about yourself and also your app and then it will generate a full privacy policy for you. Once it's generated, you need somewhere as host for it. It can be a website or in my case, I will use my GitHub account. Sign in with your GitHub and create a new repository. Inside the repository, create a new file called privacy policy and paste all generated text into it. Just copy the link to this file, get back to Google Play Console and paste it here. Now save the file and get back to app content. Next, I need to declare ads about my app and I will just choose that my app does not contain any ad. Again, get back to the app content. The next one is app access and you should answer if your app has some restrictions or in my case, all features in my app is fully available and again, make sure to save the file. The next one is content rating and here, first of all, you need to provide your email address and then you also need to choose a category. Hit next. Then they want to just ask some yes or no questions from us and then basically just want to get some extra information from our app and you just need to answer it with yes or no. The first one is about violence, blood or guru images. And I'm going to say no, my app is not containing any of this kind. The next one is fear, which again, I'm going to say no, sexuality, no, gambling themes, no, language, no, control substance, crude hammer. And then the final one is miscellaneous, which it will ask you a bunch of questions. And I will say no to all of them. Finally, save the file and hit next. Then you can just read all this information it provides you and again, save the file. Get back to the app content and the next I need to talk about target items and content. And it basically wants to know that what is the target ages of our app, which I'm going to just choose 18 and over and also 16 to 17 years old. So make sure to choose your target ages and then hit next. So the next it asks us that can our app store listing and intentionally appealing to children, which I'm going to just say no. Again, hit next and save the file. The next one is news app. So I just want to know that whether our app is a news app, which in my case, that's not true. So let's just say no. The next one is about quit 19. And I just want to know that does our app has a new relationship with quit 19, which in my case, I'm going to say that my app is not publicly available to quit 19 contacts. So again, save the file and get back to the app content. The next one is data safety. Just scroll down and hit next. And now they ask us that whether our app collect or share any of the user's special data, which in my case, that's not true. So I'm going to just hit no. Make sure to save the file and get back to the app content. The next one is about advertising ID. And they just want to know that whether our app uses any advertising ID, which in my case, that's not true. So again, I'm going to just hit no. But if you're using one, you can just hit yes and answer all the questions. The next one is about government apps and they just want to know that whether our app is developed or behalf developed by any government, which in my case, of course, that's not true. So just hit no and save the file. And finally, the last question is about financial features and they just want to know that whether our app contains any financial features, which in my case, it's not true. So I'm going to just say that my app is not containing any financial feature. But in your case, if you're doing that, just make sure to select one from the list. Again, save the file and get back to the app content. As you can see, we have answered to all questions and we are done here.
So let's get back to production and the final step is to add the countries which might well be available there. So go to countries and regions and I will select all countries. Now that everything is done just go to release overview and save all changes we have made. We are done so just hit the button to send changes for overview. Normally it takes 1 or 2 days for Google Play to review the app and if there is no problem it will be published.